Hey you guys, good morning. So I'm just waking up. I got up to feed my cats, but it's, let me turn off my alarm actually before it goes off again. It's 9.30. So today is going to be a good day for multiple reasons today My day is gonna start pretty similar to how they normally do You know, we're gonna get out of bed make breakfast go to the gym all of that I went to the gym not yesterday, but the day before and I'm gonna go back today. I don't really feel like it but We're still gonna go. There's just a lot. I would like to get done today But Lee is also coming over today So I'm very excited and we have a couple things planned that we would like to do that I I'm just super excited about so for now. We're gonna get out of bed Make something to eat. The weather was supposed to be weird today. It is 37 degrees and there's a 60% chance of rain until 12. And then there's an 80% chance at three. But from what I'm seeing, we still have a decent amount of light. That's my thing. I just don't want it to be super gloomy to the point where it's so dark and sad outside. Yeah, it's not even bad. Not right now at least. Um, I'm gonna put on my robe because it's so cold. So I went grocery shopping last night. So in that case, we don't have to eat eggs and turkey bacon for breakfast and I'm so excited. Okay, so whenever I was at the store yesterday, I've been wanting to get these for quite a while, but I always forget to go. I'm very frequently at the store and I have opportunities to get this. I just forget. This is by the brand Kodiak Cakes and this is their protein packed oatmeal. Now that I think about it, I've definitely had this before. I'm not sure if it was this flavor, but I haven't had oatmeal in general in a very long time and for it to have protein in it, just a two in one. Yeah, I think I've had this before. This is what they look like. Has 12 grams of protein in it. I didn't even read the instruction. Third a cup of water or milk and microwave for 30 to 45 seconds. Easy enough. All right, you guys, so I just made my oatmeal. We got the oatmeal at the bottom and then I put fruit on top of my oatmeal. That's not something I normally do and I've never been really drawn to do because the idea of having hot fruit just doesn't sit right with me, but we're gonna try it. I'm gonna try it with a uh, raspberry. That combination just seems odd to me. But then in cereal, I can understand. I don't know, something about it being hot. No, I'll eat the fruit on top separately, but together, mm -mm, that is not good to me. Mm. Thank you, you too. You can okay. This is the first drink. I hope she turns up. See, this is what I don't understand. Tell me why I'm like this. It is. Let's just. Let's look. It's 37 degrees outside, okay? Let's go look at the AC. First of all, why is it even on? Okay, it says cool is set to 72, but it's 59 degrees. Can we, like, turn the heat on or something? At least until I go. I almost slept with my window open last night. I was about to sleep with my window open, opposed to having the AC on, but I didn't. All right. Um, what am I doing? Oh, I was gonna shave my armpits because they're getting a little hairy. And I'm going to the gym. Hey, if you don't care, you don't care. But I just normally shave my armpits. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Why is it zoomed in? It's cold.
this time around before i apply deodorant i'm gonna allow my armpits to calm down so in that case i'm gonna do my hair i should probably wash my face i should probably wash my face and brush my teeth maybe <laughs> y'all shit stank we can smell a good screen just doing that till we wash my hair or my face and brush my teeth so it's not in the way <laughs> You know what I really wanted to use for my skincare today? I wanted to use my Foreo Luna Mini 3. This shit was always fire and I stopped using it because I don't know where the charger is. But I will buy a whole new charger so I can use it because I miss using that on my skin. I really felt like I got a deeper clean with it. I'm going to brush my teeth but I am going to slick my hair back today. And this will actually be the first slick back since um, I got my hair dyed. I have not washed my hair since that video. Oh also I should probably wash my tattoos. I'm acting like I didn't get them less than 24 hours ago. <laughs> So I just brushed my teeth and I'm about to put deodorant on. I went to clean this, moisturize it, and now it is stinging. It burns so bad. I'm trying to ignore it, but it's not working. And I need to put a jacket over it. Ah, it still burns. Oh my God. I should have just put regular lotion on my tattoos this morning so it doesn't stick in the jacket. That's disgusting. It's a little too late for that, so. But I got this shirt on, but I also got my little cropped jacket. Let's put on some lotion. What are my pets doing? We're gonna slick back my hair for the first time since I got it done. I'm very excited to see what it looks like. I don't know where my rat tail comb is and that would be very helpful. It's fine, I'm just making a part. Oh, this does smell good. Whenever I first got it, I thought it didn't smell like anything, but I had not actually applied the product to my hands. I'm so excited to see what my hair looks like. This part is not even at all. My part is so, it's fine. So I'm about to take this scarf off my head. I did put my jacket on successfully and I did put on more deodorant successfully. So I don't know why this morning has been so extra for no reason, but it's all good. I use this perfume. I have actually applied three already since I woke up. And let's see what we got. I only left this on for like two minutes, but. Okay, okay, okay. I'm only gonna add a couple bobby pins. All right, I'm just put on some socks, throw on my vans, and then we can go ahead and start heading to the gym. Right, Louie boy? Right, Lulu boy? Look at my Lulu boy. Look, Lulu. These leather seats ain't no joke. Ah. This time around, I'm actually waiting for my car to heat up Ooh. before I leave because this is not acceptable. <laughs> it's also me, I'm barely wearing clothes and it's not even 40 degrees. 
all right you guys so i'm on my way to the gym right now it literally just started to rain as soon as i turned the camera on it started to rain so we're definitely gonna get some of that today we'll see how it is by the time i get to the gym because sometimes i'll be on the way to the gym and i'll leave my house no rain at all by the time i get there we got a whole storm so We'll just see. It's definitely very cold outside. I know today in Greensboro, let me finish what I'm chewing. Today here it's supposed to be, I think 37 degrees and raining all day. But then in Greensboro, Lee was showing me how there's a chance of snow, but that doesn't, I thought it had to be like 32 degrees of snow. I don't know, but it's definitely just chilly here. It's drizzling. I actually don't mind this weather. Like right now, it's not that the sun necessarily is out, but it's not extremely gloomy. Like it's okay. Would I prefer the sun to be out? Yes. Especially since this new year has started. I've seen the sun come out maybe once. It definitely allows me to appreciate the sun when it does come out even more. I think it's supposed to be sunny tomorrow, which is good. But I am excited to work out. I'm still very sore from my last one, but I'm going to be working a different muscle group in my legs that I didn't just work. So that'll be good because my last workout out it was completely focused on quads and today i'm gonna do like glutes and hamstrings i let my car warm up before i left the house it is hot here now actually i don't know 82 degrees all right you guys so i am at the gym now and we are about to do our little our dry scoop that we do together Ooh, i forgot i got new lint rollers recently that's good because i have two cats okay so i'm gonna be taking my alani new pre-workout in breezeberry I literally just bit on ugh, maybe like a little chunk of powder that was left in my teeth ugh, I don't get weird about stuff like that but just the thought of that oh my god I don't even want to think about it okay miss ma'am um, okay, we're gonna go ahead and go inside. I am bracing myself to even get out of the car because it is very cold outside, but it's not cold inside. And I'm gonna be sweating. There's a balance, right? <laughs> Damn, I thought, am I ashy? I think I just got the, the pre-workout powder on my stomach, but I thought it was ash. Put lotion on either way. Look at chocolate on my pants or something. Anyway. All right, so I just got out of the gym. Have a really good workout. I did what I told you guys. You know, I worked the back side of my legs this time around. I don't know what it is, but these last couple of days, my workouts have been going really well, and I've been able to push myself, challenge myself more than I normally am. Or maybe that's just me putting in more effort. Probably. Um, I'm also happy that I'm not super duper hungry. I feel my stomach, I'm definitely ready to eat, but it's not to the point I'm uncomfortable, so that's good. Okay, off to a good start. I don't care. When you're working out, when you're at the gym, that water fountain water be hitting different. The actual water fountains are closed, but they have a little faucet that your cup or your mouth doesn't actually touch. You just sit your cup underneath it. I'm feeling really good. So from here, and it's not even raining. It drizzled, but that's about it. The weather is not bad, but we're going to go ahead and head back to the house. I'm not making any stops. I did want to open a P.O. box because I have a lot of items that I would like to give to you guys. Just things that I don't need anymore and you guys had reached out saying you would take it. So I'm like, say less. Maybe I should go ahead and do that because this is one of those things that if I don't do it now, it just won't get done. Just because the post office isn't an everyday location for me. It was for a little bit. I guess we might as well, right? The only reason I'm kind of iffy about it is just because it's the opposite way of my house. So it's just a lot of driving. Um... We might as well. We're gonna go ahead and head that way. All right, you guys, I'm back home. Very happy to be home. Didn't make my bed this morning. Just a little update. I'm back at home. I'm warming up some. I bought this bowl of pre-made, or they cooked it, uh, fried rice from Harris Teeter because they pre-made California rolls, just food that's ready to eat basically. And I picked it up yesterday along with some California rolls, but I ate the California rolls and not the fried rice. And I forgot about it, so we're gonna eat it today. So I'm about to eat some food, then we're gonna get in the shower. I'm gonna get out of the shower, kind of just touch up my hair, do my makeup for the first time since I got my hair dyed. So that'll be interesting to see. I'm more excited to actually wash my hair for the first time with this color because I can't wait to see, you know, my curls, my actual curls with the dark hair. But yeah, I'm just gonna get 
get all ready, make the stories that I need to make before Lee gets here so that can be done by the time he's here. And then once he's here, we're gonna take the pictures I need to take and then we can just go ahead and have fun the rest of the day, just do whatever else we wanna do. But yeah, it's 2.15, so it's still pretty early. I was out of the house by 11.30, which is earlier than it has been the last couple of days, so that's good. I wish I had white sauce, that would've been bomb. I also have seaweed salad, which is also super good. Let's see if this is good. Cause I didn't even try it yesterday and then I just threw it in the fridge. This is not bad. It'll be better with sauce, but I'll eat it. This is bomb though. The more I eat this fried rice, the worse it gets. It was hitting for a second. It was okay. in the refrigerator and we are not about to eat it again. Mm. That fried rice, I really did try to be positive about it. I really was gonna eat it, but it just, it seriously tasted like cardboard. And if I wanted fried rice, I should have actually got it from an Asian restaurant like I was really wanting. So instead, I'm gonna have some cereal and then I'll probably make a protein shake or something because cereal isn't gonna fill me up at all. Where's the protein lab? Or I'll just make a sandwich like I was originally gonna do because I forgot I had that. This is just um, Special K cereal with the real bananas in it. The fact that they even have to justify that the fruit is real. What else was y'all gonna you guys know how whenever you get sets of forks, spoons, they'll normally have small spoons and then they'll have bigger spoons. And the same with forks. Does anyone else never use the big spoon or the big fork? I don't know what it is, but it's just not comfortable for me. And I always gravitate towards the smaller version of the fork and spoon. I prefer cinnamon toast crunch, but it's still good. So I'm kind of doing this thing where I just eat a bunch of shit that I see in my fridge or my pantry until I'm full. And obviously that cereal wasn't gonna do it. So now I'm going to make a sandwich. I know Lee had said his goal was to get here before three. Um, it's 2.45 and he's still at the house. It's all good, shit happens. We're gonna do some Munster cheese, which is my absolute favorite. So I was looking online because I was really trying to go thrifting today. I thought that would be so much fun. That's something I have not done in a very long time. I looked online and pretty much all of the thrift stores closed between four and six. And it is almost three already and we still, you know, got some things to get done. So I don't think that's gonna work today. It's a possibility, but I'm not sure. But if that doesn't happen today, I still definitely wanna do that. And maybe we could go tomorrow. I just made a sandwich, so I'm gonna eat this and then I'll meet you guys once I'm in the bathroom. So I'm done eating. I literally have a food baby, or should I say a water baby? Um, that's my stomach completely relaxed right now, but I, um, didn't I just clean? Ah, uh, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and straighten up my counter so I actually have space to get ready. And then after that, we're gonna hop in the shower, do whatever the fuck. Didn't I tell y'all this like four times already? I'm sure y'all are tired and confused why I haven't done it yet. All right, so I'm out of the shower and I shower with a shower cap on as if I don't have my hair just slipped down underneath, but I just didn't want my hair to get wet at all while I was in the shower. If I'm avoiding my hair being wet, I don't want the slightest bit, like, you know, the end of my bun to get wet or anything like that. It's just uncomfortable. I clean my neck and around my ears in the shower, but not completely behind them because my hair was in a shower cap, so it wasn't as easily accessible. So I'm just cleaning behind them, just in case they're musty. I am gonna take my hair out of this bun and we're just gonna slick it back down because, you know, working out, being in the rain, you know, my hair's obviously going to get a little bit frizzy and then sweating at the gym also does not contribute to the best hairstyle, so. I have this Diva Curl, Diva Fresh Scalp and Curl Revitalizer. I'm just gonna spray my scalp and just my hair. I don't expect this to revive my curls at all because you are very blessed if you could just put a spray in your hair and revitalize your curls. Um, my shit look the same regardless. Revitalizing my curls for me is co-washing at the bare minimum. Okay, I'm just gonna get my gel out, my spray bottle, all of that. 
I'm using Eco Gel to slick back my hair right now. I actually prefer Wet Line Extreme Gel a lot more. I had a huge tub of it, but I just ran out of it after having it for nearly a year. So in that case, I'm definitely gonna get some more, but this will do for now. It still works. I just feel like it doesn't have as strong of a hold. It's like originally when I first discovered Eco Gel, I just never tried anything else. I just acted as if Eco Gel was the only gel to exist. But then I actually branched out and I tried gels that I was a little bit iffy about at first. Loved them 10 times more. But Eco Gel does the job. It's just not my regular go-to. This is the same thing I did this morning. I'm just redoing it. I definitely should do my laundry and I actually want to wash my comforter, my pillowcases, my sheets. So I'll probably do that today because I'm going to have time. Okay, so it's tied up in a bun and now I'm just going to slick my hair down with some more Eco Gel just in the front of my head or anywhere where there's any flyaways that I'm seeing. Okay, so now that my hair is slicked back, I'm going to spray it with some, I'm going to spray it with some olive oil sheen to just give it some shine. And then I'm gonna tie it up with the same scarf that we used earlier. Okay, and while this is sitting on my head, I'm gonna brush my teeth again because I just don't like the way food tastes in my mouth after I eat. All right, so we're about to just have a little chat as I do my makeup. Why is this so goopy? Oh. So I'm going in with my Glossier Primer Moisturizer and this is basically a two-in-one. It primes my skin for makeup and then it also moisturizes my skin. This straight up just feels like a moisturizer and I love it. it. makes my skin feel super hydrated and skincare is very important underneath your makeup and it can actually influence how your makeup is gonna turn out. Okay, I'm very interested to see, you know, how my makeup turns out and then I've yet to see what I look like with makeup on since I got my hair done. Okay, so let's start with my eyebrows as I normally do. I can't do that with this on my head. And then like when I contour my face, I won't even be able to get to my whole head. So I'm just gonna take this off. We're gonna start with the brows. Y'all see those little hairs sticking up? I'm very excited for the sun to come out. I'm just gonna deal with the flyaways whenever my makeup is done because as soon as I slick them down, more just pop up. But I'm gonna fill in my brows. So now we're going to clean them up. I have the Fenty Beauty Concealer in a lighter shade for the winter and then a darker tone for the summer. And I forgot I had a winter shade for my Fenty Concealer and this will be my first time using it since last winter if I'm not mistaken. So I wasn't completely sure if it was gonna match but this actually looks like a good fit. Okay, so now that my eyebrows are cleaned up, I'm gonna go ahead and actually go in with my Glossier Skin Tint, which is similar to a BB cream. I'm going to conceal under my eye, around my nose, because it gets a little red, and just any other places I wanna add concealer. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with some of my Fenty Beauty Contour Stick, Matte Stick. I should use a different brush for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch it out. Lee sent me two voice memos. Okay, one. Definitely used way too much. I'm gonna try to blend it in. So Lee's on the way now, so that's good. It'll be perfect timing to where I can go ahead and finish my makeup, do what I need to get done by myself first, and then we can do what we need to do together, and then we can do whatever else we want to do. Next thing I'm gonna do is powder. I'm gonna use my me powder and just set my face i'll use the most random brushes for different parts of my face and then i get confused what i can even use for certain parts of my face without messing up my makeup like brushes like this i'll use for a highlight i can use for eyeshadow i could use for contour powder like i'm doing now and then if i forget it has eyeshadow on it or something like that i just get it all over my face i'm gonna use a bigger brush to just get the rest of my face why do i feel like this has some contour on it or something i feel like i just why does my face look blotchy? See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. If I wanted to be simple, I could have done brows and lashes and called it a day, but it's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and set my skin with the Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. Ooh, this smells good. Maybe this will help kind of set everything into place and not have it look blotchy as fuck. Um, okay. So next thing we're gonna do is mascara. Oh, I should have done highlight before I set my face, but it's fine. I'll just do that once my skin dries and then I can just go in with another layer of setting spray. Okay, but for now, I'm going to curl my lashes. So 
now I have some Q-tips that I'm gonna use to clean up any mascara that I got on my skin. Now, instead of using the lashes that I normally use, I picked up these lashes not long ago. These are the Eyelore Marquise Silk Effect lashes. I'm gonna use these instead, and if I don't like them, I can use the ones I normally use, but we shall see. I definitely have used these in the past. I just don't remember what they look like on. I get them mixed up, but they're very pretty. I feel like they're not as thick and bushy as the ones that I normally use. Okay, so now that a majority of the makeup Oh, this lash is falling off. Now that the majority of my makeup has been applied, I did forget highlight or I've yet to put it on. And I did go back and slick back my hair some more. So I'm allowing the scarf to sit on my hair for a little bit longer so I can make sure that's as slick as possible. So while I'm waiting for that, I'm gonna first of all make sure this lash isn't hanging off because it's not cute. And also I'm going to highlight my face. So I'm gonna use, let's use some Fenty Beauty Diamond Balm. Tip my nose and like the upper bridge of my nose. Ooh, my upper lip and that reminds me I wanna line my lips a little bit. I'm gonna use my pinky to highlight my inner corner. Just make me look a little more awake and to brighten up my eyes cause we all know I'm not getting enough sleep. I'm gonna clean up my lips to get rid of any extra makeup I may have on my lips. I'm gonna use the, what is this? The Revlon Colorstay Longwear Lip Liner. What shade is this? In Nude. And this is what I'm going to use to line my lips. I feel like it's a good match for my lips. Oh, I also did did not put any gel on my brows. I am all over the place. Forgot my own routine. So now I'm going to set my face one last time now that I actually have all of my makeup applied. And also, this smells so good. Okay, so I am ready and I'm about to go ahead and do the stories that I was telling you guys about. I have on one of the outfits I'm going to be wearing for my story. But yes, I'm gonna go ahead and knock this out. It'll take me at most 15, 20 minutes. And I'll talk to you guys once I'm comfortable in some sweats and ready to go get some food. I already am so excited. All right, you guys, so I just finished my stories and I'm already wearing comfy clothes. I'm not wearing like a crew neck. And it is cold outside, but I'm coming right back up, so it's acceptable. So I'm wearing these sweatpants and we got my little Key West t-shirt. So we're gonna go downstairs and go get Lee because he's stranded down there and I'm his only way up. We picked up Lee. Hey. Me too, I'm so happy we did that. So we got the pictures done. That's all good to go. Got all the content done. We also got content done. That's not even due until the 16th of this month. So that's good stuff. And now we're getting ready to leave. I put on some comfy clothes. I'm wearing this Nike hoodie that I got years ago. And then I'm also wearing these camo joggers slash legging pants and they're from American Eagle. But we're gonna go, you know, just run some errands, go get some food, go get some boba. And I'm so excited. This will be my first real outing today. I mean, I went to the gym and went to the post office, but those are such consistent things. It's like, this is the actual, fun the fun part, yeah. So I'm very excited and I just like being out at night. Not super late because I get tired and I like to be back home by maybe 9, 30, 10, but I do like getting out of the house. Like, bro, I'm, where I'm, I'm excited for you to end these you know, until you touch it up. Yeah, I'm excited too. Wait, you put it on my phone? Okay, he already transport, transported, imported, sent the pictures to my phone. Yeah, I really like these. Thank you so much. Of course. No, I can't wait for them to send the next set so we can have that there for Yes, true. Because now, now you're like ahead of them, which is good. Yes, and normally they're on my ass and so. it's my fault. Yes, so excited. I'm glad we, you know, took the time to get pictures we really, really like. Yeah. And now we can go have some fun. Exactly. I mean, that was still fun. But. All right, we out this hope. Oh, no. All right, we're leaving now. So we're gonna go to Target first, then we're gonna go get boba, and then we're gonna get food. So that way we'll already have our drinks so we don't have to get two drinks. Okay. Yeah, I still need a planner, so. Cold, so we can get colder. But if we wake up tomorrow and it's literally white outside, snow. Um, it says the sun is gonna be out tomorrow and I didn't see no snow. Ah. Thank you so much. 
Ah, it is freezing. Why aren't you wearing a hoodie? <laughs> Look, I wear hoodies all, year all the round, time, but, but when it's actually fucking freezing, can't wear one. <laughs> well, I guess that's why we're going to Tartar. Right. <laughs> we're in the parking deck. Let me show you guys. You guys know I lose my wallet a lot. Okay? Let me show you guys the wallet that I have. Mm. Don't know where the wallet is. He found it. Wait, and it's not? No? Oh. Where the fuck? Is it underneath a chair or something? I literally went to Best Buy and I had it. There's. Did you leave it at Best Buy? No, I didn't even get out. I did. What do you call that? Oh, the pickup thing? At this point, just leave me with your card and um, whenever you need it, just ask for it. Right. <laughs> just drive back to pick it up. <laughs> Maybe it's in the bag upstairs. Fuck that shit. I'm gonna <laughs> All right, guys, so we're back downstairs and we are about to go to Target. Very excited. The last time I went to Target was. It's raining, but we ain't getting touched. Yeah. Oh. I'm not confidently walking in this aisle like there's planters in here. Ooh, I like this material. Uh, this one looks nice. All right, so we're in Target now, and we're looking at the planners. This is the only thick one. I don't know. We like the planners that are thicker, that have a bunch of pages. And but then again, I don't know why are they so thick. I don't know. Because but it's that like one's. How they feel. Yeah. This is a cute planner. I don't like polka dots, but it's on the inside, and no one cares that much. This is cute, but I feel like I get sick of it. Aww. I'm gonna try these shakes from Premier Protein. I've had the, I think it's like Cafe Latte or something. Oh, no, not it wasn't caramel. It was the Cafe Latte, yeah. But cookies and cream sounds super good. They actually have so many flavors. That's actually the only other flavor that looks good to me. <laughs> Target haul, I literally just got the uh, protein shakes that I showed you guys. I kinda wanna try one. Let's do a taste test. It's not bad. I mean, I didn't expect it to taste absolutely outstanding because it's a protein shake, but they're good. It's really sweet. Do you wanna go get boba? Yes. Okay. I'm very excited. The last time I went, I actually got some Thai milk tea boba, and I'm not getting that again because it gave me gas. It made my stomach hurt, and it just made me feel nasty. People actually reached out to me after saying that it did the same thing to them, so I'm not gonna get that from there. I'm thinking maybe a fruitier drink this time around, especially if we're about to eat, and I'm mm -hmm. not gonna get a drink from Chick-fil-A. All right, guys, so we just got to Kung Fu Tea. Very, very exciting. Have you ever been here before? I don't know. This will be his first time, and I've only been here once. But they have so many different options to choose from, and I'm super excited to go in. And there's also a ramen bar right next to the Kung Fu tea place. And I'm trying to check that out. I would much rather go there than we should park there. Chick fil A. You want me to pull back up? Oh, yeah. But then again, I don't know. Chick fil A would be hitting too. Oh, shit, I ain't got my shoe on. All right, now we're about to go inside. I don't know, because I don't want to walk in the ramen place if I'm not 100% going to get anything, so I'd feel bad walking out. So it's not going there. Okay. I kind of want mac and cheese in like a sandwich. Yeah, that sounds good. I feel like that would be more filling. Soup, not me getting soup for a side. From there? That would be good too. We should just go in. I'll probably, I would still eat it, because soup isn't We can filling. just get soup to go. Yeah, definitely to go, because I'm trying to. Cause we can more. eat it later tonight while editing too. True. Sounds good. Ooh, that look good. They have coffee. This looks good. I don't know what this is. Ah. All right, so we just ordered our drink. I got a yogurt milk tea with uh, boba. What'd you get? I got a mango green tea with okay. mango something. We got pretty similar drinks. 46, I think that's here. I like the color. Yeah, it's pretty. Sure. Yeah, that was what I was like. It's always like, it's normally like the little spots that are like oh. good. 
All right, so we decided to come over to the ramen place that we were telling you guys about earlier and we ordered some food. Depending on how big the serving is will depend on if we're gonna go get other food. But the way it was priced, I really don't wanna buy a whole other meal. So we'll just see. But we have our boba and we're gonna do a little taste test on camera. Because it's yogurt. Yeah, I got a yogurt green tea. What's it good? One is interesting. It's different. Yeah, this is really good. I don't know why. I think it, it has a very slight kind of bitter taste kind of. It almost tastes and then it almost tastes carbonated. It's interesting. It's a different that's good though. The boba is super good. It's sweet. Really? Mm -hmm. Ah! It... Ooh! A mixture of rain and then it being freezing. We just got done getting boba and ramen. And I'm so excited. Right, that's such a switch up from what we actually said we were gonna get. Exactly. We said we were gonna get Chick-fil-A, but... I just want to see because I didn't look at it. I think they separated the noodles from the broth. Mm -hmm. Oh, and they got some spicy sauce. I know this shit about to hit. I know they did their thing. And it's warm, so it's... It's perfect for the Winter. freezing ass. Oh. <gasps> oh my god. That looks amazing. Excited? Oh my gosh, yes. I'm so happy we drove here. This looks amazing. It has corn, it has meat. Oh my gosh. Oh, it has seaweed. Ah! Hey guys! So we're home and I'm so excited to eat. Do you know which one is yours? Oh, wait, this is mine. Yeah. It smells so good. Now I can really show you guys what I got now that we're in some good lighting. I think it's cool how they make ramen takeout, like how they separate. But, oh my gosh. I don't know what this is. I'm excited. I'm excited. I don't, I've never had this spicy sauce. I've never had this soup, but I feel like this spicy sauce is going to be really good. And the ramen's at the bottom. The noodles look thick. I don't know how hot this is. Is it horrible? <laughs> I put the smallest dab on my tongue and that shit burned. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. You taste it? Yeah. It's not enjoyable. What if you just put like a little bit? No. Look how good it looks. Okay. Okay. So this is Lee's and this is mine. You ready? No, because my ramen are a little together. <laughs> <laughs> are you just trying the ramen part? Yeah, mostly. I'm going to do that first. It looks kind of cool. What do you mean? Yours like being like more of a milky. Oh yeah, it's like creamy broth. Yeah. You don't understand how anticipated, like, I'm just very excited for this first bite. Three. I can barely do this with nails, hold up. You got this. Three, two, one. The smallest amount of that sauce gave it such a kick. Really? Like yours is spicy? Mm, it just has a kick to it, but it's not too hot. Seaweed is so good. It is so good. Y'all like seaweed? It's so under like, Underrated. underrated there it is so how was y'all's day had a good day today did you eat did you drink some water did you poop at least once please tell me you pooped at least once because that's a must mm -hmm. all right so i need a towel bye okay i'm about to get a shower i should probably take off my makeup first Wow, the lashes did me a favor and are hanging halfway off already. So that's good. I don't know how to apply lashes for shit. I need to clean my bathroom again. Like the counter and everything. Didn't even put my makeup away after doing my makeup. It's not that hard if you just clean as you go. I don't know. Girl, this is disappointing. We're all disappointed in you. <sighs> so basically, I'm about to hop in the shower, put on some comfy clothes. I'm already comfortable, but I'm not hanging out in the clothes that I went out in. Or I'm not sleeping in these clothes. So I'm going to shower, get nice and clean, and then I'm going to work on a video that I'm super excited to edit that I need to have up before this video goes up for multiple reasons. Mainly because nobody knows about, you know, the tattoos I got, my hair being a completely different color other than very close friends and family. So that's why I'm needing to get this video.
video up that I'm gonna start working on before so y'all will know by the time this vlog goes up so it's not a shock you know like y'all already knew that was a thing at that point that ramen was super bomb I would definitely go there again I didn't even know they had actually there's a ramen place downtown but I've only been there once. No, I've been there twice. It doesn't matter. But it's pretty good as well. Still cleaning up my mess. I need to take out the trash bags in here. Another problem for another day. Actually, I kind of just pushed the trash down and I probably got a couple extra days of room. But I should probably just take it out. I was supposed to do laundry today too, wasn't I? Actually, it's still early enough for me to do a load. I should. I don't know what this is for. Oh. Okay, almost done. It doesn't take long. I just never do it as I go. So I just come back to a complete disaster. Ah. I literally just cleaned the whole house, did all my laundry. To at least justify my actions, a little bit. The comforter takes up pretty much the whole laundry basket. And then there's just clothes sitting on top. Still ridiculous. <laughs> it's so funny when Louis, if Bentley tries to get close to the avocado thing, when Louis wants it, he growls at him. Lee and I have been editing for the last couple of hours. My hard drive took 40 minutes to show up on my laptop. So as soon as it did, I went in and I've got a really good amount done tonight and I'm probably going to stay up a little bit longer to just finish off because the video I'm currently working on, so far I have three days of footage. I wanna at least finish day one tonight. So I'll probably do that. I probably shouldn't, I should probably go to sleep. After I brush my teeth, I'm gonna walk out out there. So you can hear we got lofi music playing. We got um, Lee has this app that plays really relaxing sleep sounds that's playing as well. And then I always sleep with ocean sounds as well. So we're about to sleep good. And we ain't setting no alarm as we shouldn't. I'm very excited. Um, let's brush my teeth. Um, I plan on eating Cheez Its and fruit roll ups. So we weren't brushing my teeth yet. Did you turn off your music? Uh, yeah. You didn't want it? No, because it's like clashing. Oh, why don't I just turn that off? Because that shit sounds like a trap beat at this time of night. <laughs> Let me turn that shit off. I liked what you had on better. This shit really a little too upbeat. Yeah, it was like clashing. I was like, it don't match, but I could fall asleep to either one side. So. Um, yeah, you should play yours because that shit sounded like trap. You hear it? It's so relaxing. Yeah, I literally love it. Thank you. And then I sleep with my little ocean sounds, but I'm not gonna have, I don't turn that on until I'm literally about to knock out. So I'm not gonna use that right now because I'm trying to knock out. Or, no, I'm trying to edit. But this is what it sounds like. And then we got my diffuser going. Absolutely love. Get out, Lulu. Let me make sure no other cats are in here. All right, you guys. So we have definitely come to the end of the day. We're actually already into the next day. It's very late, but I am gonna go ahead and close off today's video here. I'm gonna go ahead and edit until I can barely keep my eyes open. But once I get tired to the point where I can barely keep my eyes open, I'm just gonna listen to my body and go to sleep. If I feel like what I'm trying to get done tonight is too much, I'll just work on it. Tomorrow I have time to 
tomorrow to go ahead and do what I need to do. But we have come to the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I had so much fun taking you guys throughout my day today. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me. If you guys have got all the way to the end of this video and you have not subscribed yet and you would like to, please make sure to do so. Join the family. I promise it's a good time. If you guys have got all the way to the Also, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so, so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.